Hello viewers and welcome to my review for Warlocks vs Shadows. The review code for this game was given to us by the developers and with that said, let's get into it. So, Warlocks vs Shadows can be described as a 2D arena action game with multiple different characters to choose from, whilst also containing minimal RPG and platforming elements as well. But what do I actually think of the game? Well for me, it just ain't that fun. I mean, the game is simple enough to begin with though, you choose from one of the many characters available at the start, you then enter an arena and then begin to use one of your four main abilities to then destroy every enemy you see, wave after wave. And after they're all dead, you then collect all the loot, then rinse and repeat, there really isn't much else to it. There's not even much incentive to replay as different characters in the game, other than just to try them out quickly because once you switch to a different character, say for example you're playing as the first character and then mid game you decide to switch, well the game then makes you replay through the tutorial then all the other worlds you've played through, making a very boring gaming experience for anyone who does want to experiment with different classes. Another issue I have with the game is that of the enemy design, it's just boring and minimal. Majority of the enemies are just big black spots with glowing eyes and of course body wise they change depending on what enemy you're facing and what world you're in, but overall they just look dull and the only time this dullness is rectified is when playing in a boss fight because they are the only enemies that actually look interesting and different in the entire game. Additionally, the overall UI, menus and menu navigation of this game its just poor. I mean, if you're going to release a game on PC, then I should bloody well expect there to be mouse support for menus, proper choice of different resolutions and different graphical settings, which this game has none of. That's kind of unacceptable. Not to mention outside the game's menus, there really is just a lack of information when playing in the game. If you want to know more about your character and his or her abilities, then you just best play through the tutorial again because that's the only real place you get a sliver of information regarding your character's abilities, but you know, maybe that's just me nitpicking. Also, the overall gameplay, it's just shallow. I mean, I said it before and I'll say it again. All you do is enter an area, you kill all the enemies wave by wave and then that's really it. I mean, sure you get loot drops such as different hats, robes, boots, daggers and so on and so forth, but even those are somewhat designed poorly because all they offer are just tiny stat boosts that you don't really even notice and not to forget that the majority of these um drops that they don't even affect the character's appearance as well. I mean, can someone please tell me why the majority of these bits of loot are designed as clothing? Because once you equip them, they have no effect appearance-wise on your character. I mean, that design in itself just seems kind of dumb. Now, not to completely crap on the game, it does have um, a major strength towards it, and that's its um, various classes and characters you can play as. You have your obvious spell casters, you have your tanks and more, and as you progress through the game, you'll unlock the rest of the cast and they all play very, very differently from each other. They have their own unique design about them and their own little voices to them and stuff, and it's actually quite nice to see the difference between each character and how all of their four main abilities differ from each other, and what's also good is that these abilities can be upgraded whilst playing through the game to cause more damage and reduce spell cast in time and so on, but as I mentioned before, there isn't much point in changing characters once you hit the next stage because you'll have to play through all those um, missions you've did before with the same enemies and the same scenarios, it's just it's not very fun. And even though there are various different characters to play as, a lot of them are very unbalanced. An example being that you can play through the entire game as just Jake the Pyromancer and completely destroy everyone because he has the most OP abilities such as his uh, Meteor Shower move which I have no doubt shown a lot of in this video and it just, it just gets boring after a while because you know you can easily win. This is really all I have to say about the game, I mean, if you really just want a basic arena type 2D brawler game with a lot of different characters then you got it right here. And like I said before, you have a lot of characters to choose from but I hardly expect anyone to play through this game more than once. Gameplay gets really boring just after a few levels, the map design is dull and drab and as, as is the enemy design as well, I mean certain spells and attacks are stupidly unbalanced and the loot system is just forgettable. So my verdict for Warlocks vs Shadows is to avoid it, and there you have it. If you want more reviews then make sure to check out other videos on this channel or visit our website at the usual address apgnations.com. Thanks for watching guys and I'll catch you next time.